YouTuber and Singles Inferno Show contestant Song Ji-A, also known as Freezia, recently sat down for an exclusive tell-all interview with Korean news site Dispatch. Here, she touched on her past as a YouTuber, her contract with her company, what led her to own fake luxury goods, and the exact pieces in her collection which were real and fake. According to Dispatch, Song Ji-A's popularity did not come overnight. When she was a sophomore at Hanyang University in 2017, she started working part-time as an online shopping sites model. She modeled a variety of products and soon met actress Kong yi -won. In August of 2018, the two signed a management contract and a year later, Song Jia launched her YouTube channel where she uploaded two videos every week, a total of 237 videos. When the issue of her owning imitation goods began gaining traction online, Jia acknowledged her mistakes, but now I'm labeled fake. Of course, I brought that on myself. I don't resent anyone else. To determine if her collection of clothes and accessories were genuine or not, Dispatch took them to the Korea Appraisal Institute of Luxury Goods where they verified the authenticity of each item. Song Jia showcased over 300 outfits in her 237 YouTube videos and 1,151 posts on Instagram. From shoes to bags and accessories, she wore over 500 items in total. Among these, around 20 of them have been deemed to be fake. One of these was a medium Lady Dior bag which she used in her paid Instagram advertisement for their perfume. The logo charm on the bag was purchased on the streets of Busan as well when she was 20 years old. Song Jia apologized to the brand for knowingly including it in her paid advertisement despite it being fake. Because this Lady Dior bag was featured in the background of one of her videos, she had it deleted. The Montclair padded jacket and Louis Vuitton padded jacket and dress in the same vlog, however, were real. Like the Lady Dior bag, Gia's Dior oblique saddlebag did not come from official stores. Another article of clothing that netizens suspected to be fake due to its thinner-than-usual logo, was the pink Chanel logo knit top. As they guessed, it was verified to be a knockoff. This was not the last imitation Chanel top that she wore. The Korea Appraisal Institute of Luxury Goods examined and confirmed a mint crop top and pink cardigan that she posted online, were inauthentic. The Dior tube top she wore to Netflix's single Inferno was another outfit determined to be fake. It was originally suspected for being so due to its unreleased design, and Jia admitted that she had received it from the CEO of a shopping site that she used to model for. Similarly, the Marine Sarah dress and top that she wore were not officially released designs. She claimed to have been unaware that the name Marine was referring to the luxury brand when she bought it. Several imitation clothes of GAs were bought online. A Saint Laurent and Alexander Wang set came with the wrong colored lining and skirt respectively. She bought the former from the site Fashion Nova. Though she made this clear in the video she featured it in and linked their website, she did not clarify this when the media reported on her wearing of a Saint Laurent dress. On the other hand, she received the Alexander Wang set from the team of stylists at Video Star and thus did not know whether the outfit was real or not. She commented, I may have worn the skirt with the band folded in. At the same time, not every piece of clothing that she owned was fake. When asked if the sneakers she gifted to her parents were knockoffs as well, GA responded with, absolutely not. She bought legitimate luxury goods from brands such as Chanel, Prada, and more as pictured below. The Chanel classic flap that was the center of attention among numerous curious netizens was determined to be genuine. The Chanel 19 handbag that she posed with in a selfie was also real. Likewise, the red boy Chanel and leather belt that were featured in the same video were not fakes. The video was deleted from her channel not because of their lack of authenticity but because she wore an imitation van, Cleef and Arpel's necklace at the time. Moreover, the Rolex watch that she was criticized for due to it lacking a serial number was, in fact, authentic. Her white Chanel fleece scarf was another item that netizens incorrectly assumed was fake. The Chanel Gabrielle hobo bag was one that she had received as a gift and it was confirmed by the appraisal institute to be real. 
The last of the Chanel items that she owned and that were determined to be authentic were a beanie and set of earrings. There were times when the brands or her company themselves lent the genuine clothes to GA for advertisements. Hyawan CNC, her agency, even had the receipt of the Dior outfit she wore and returned after the shoot. There were instances like these when she had no way of confirming the authenticity of the clothes she wore since they were provided to her by other people. Many times, Jia owned genuine articles of clothing that netizens thought were fake due to misunderstandings, such as with her Louis Vuitton bikini top. The official Louis Vuitton photo of her did not show a gold buckle on her clothes, causing netizens to claim it was a sign of forgery. In reality, the detail was actually situated on the back of the top. Dispatch added that the details in the picture seem to be silver, but they are gold in real life. Her Louis Vuitton ring and bracelet were other items suspected of being imitations due to their seemingly different colors from the original. The Korea Appraisal Institute of Luxury Goods noted that they were, in fact, authentic. At the end of the interview, GA apologized for misleading her audience. When asked why she did so, she replied that she didn't think too much of it. As for why she started wearing fake luxury goods in the first place, she admitted that she was drawn to how they looked good, and how, people couldn't tell they were not genuine when she wore them. Despite knowing it was illegal, Song Jia did not take the opportunities presented to her to a step up and own up to her mistakes. She stated that she now regrets her past actions. Song Ga concluded that she's currently taking a break from social media to reflect on her actions. She also dispelled the rumors that her relationship with Kong Yi-won, her CEO, has soured. Starting January 2022, netizens began suspecting Song Jia of wearing fake luxury goods. The situation escalated when she was accused of also passing off these imitation goods as legitimate in her YouTube haul videos and Instagram advertisements. On January 24th, she uploaded a video of her apologizing for owning the knockoff items and misleading her audience.